Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, a couple of pieces that I've been picking up, um, some things that I've been into. I also wanted to talk briefly on uh, like thrifting, sustainability, where I guess my opinions and views on that stuff and how it goes. Um, because there is a really, there's an abundance of just things thrown at you daily, I think. And even for us, like influencers, we're constantly consuming and purchasing and receiving and I feel like that kind of takes away from, I don't know, I guess the relatability. Like, it is very, very nice that I get to work and partner with all these brands and uh, do all these things and go on these amazing trips, uh, but also it's... Like, I, I work a full-time job, and I purchase my clothes, and I really, really want to put forth more effort and pieces that, um, staple pieces, pieces that I've seen myself wearing in, you know, several years, and also, um, recycling in a sense. So, I thought I wanted to talk about, a little bit about that, um, maybe some things that I'm loving, I've purchased a few things, <laughs> I'm still waiting for things to arrive. But also, a quick disclaimer, it doesn't mean that I'm going to stop purchasing high-end things, fast fashion things, when I'm in a pinch and I need something. Uh, I just want to make that clear. I am not perfect, and <laughs> um, but it makes me happy that I'm thinking of fashion in a different way, and I'm looking beyond just w the clothing. Like, what does it mean if I go to a thrift store and repurchase, you know, a blazer, for instance, we'll say for example, versus going out to a store and spending, you know, X amount of dollars on one when I can find the same thing and just repurpose that blazer and get the same satisfaction. I always tell people like it's, yes, Clothing is nice, fabric is nice, textures are nice, but it's not the clothing. You wear the clothing. You literally, you can exude whatever it is you want as long as you are feeling comfortable and confident. Uh, I always tell people like I feel my most sexiest when I'm in an oversized blazer, t-shirt, jeans, and you know, a pair of pumps or boots and I just feel great about myself. And I think that goes a long way. I'm laughing because I have the ice cream truck going on outside and laundry, but it's always laundry day at my place. But anyway, uh, yeah, so quickly wanted to put that out there. Wanted to let you guys know how I felt about those things. I'm trying to make, you know, a conscious effort to be better about my clothing choices and not let what's out there or what's on trend influence my purchases per se. Uh, so I'm really happy with where my wardrobe is going and where my fashion sense is going and what I feel confident in. With that being said, thrifting tips. So <laughs> a couple of tips that I have. It's usually like when I go thrifting, it's an all day thing for me. Uh, because I like to sift through all the racks, but if you kind of know in hand or like what you're going to go for, so let's say, hey, I'm really lacking like a black blazer and I really want to get a cool oversized blazer that no one else might have um, or something just different versus what's out on, you know, like H&M, Zara, all those things, because I feel like also as an influencer, like something comes out and it is amazing, but I feel like everyone has it and you kind of get sick and tired of seeing a bunch of different, I mean, it's cool to see different influencers style the same piece, but after a while, it just, it's repetitive. It's what marketing's for, I guess. Uh, so I always enjoy a strange one-off piece. So back to thrifting tips. So yeah, it's like an all-day thing. Um, go in something comfortable. Sometimes I'll go in an outfit that I might wear. So let's say the other day, for instance, I was looking for oversized like uh, men's jeans 
really into men's jeans. I have been since like last summer and I haven't really been wearing them too much. I only have two pair and I just ordered a couple of pair that I actually found on sale. I went thrifting and I couldn't find anything, but I'm not, I'm still determined. I'm going to go to a couple other stores, uh, but I did purchase two just to see what type of fit I want. So those are coming. What was I going with this? Oh yeah, so I made sure that I had a belt with me and I was wearing one. I made sure that I had comfortable clothing. Um, I made sure that I had shoes on that I would wear with those pants just so I would see what it looks like because you take it home. It's not like you can return it or at least I go to like Goodwill. Uh, that's what's around me or like the Salvation Army. Um, not a particular like curated thrift store, which I know those exist. There's one where I live in Bethlehem, or near in Bethlehem called The Attic, and I know that they pick their pieces, um, and they might have a return policy, but either way, I like to go, go, take my time. If you could go on a weekday, that would be good. Weekends are usually packed, and what I've noticed is I've gone to different thrift stores, and the same people that I've seen at those thrift stores, I've seen at the others. Like, we, people go and pick days, and they just go and hit up each thrift store. I've noticed that. I absolutely adore the men's section. I'm obsessed with it, especially for like suits. I think it's wonderful if you don't mind wearing your clothes oversized. Uh, I found, I have two, ba or two suits that I have. Um, the one is John's and John was actually gonna give it to the thrift store and I was like, no, I'll take it. And it fits wonderfully. It's this beautiful beige suit, which I'll, I'll try it on for you, but I absolutely love it. Um, they don't make tailoring like that anymore or even that, like I love pleats I have really long legs so pleats look okay on me so make my hips look a little bit wider because I have no hips <laughs> again if I'm in something oversized I feel super super confident that's just me there's a little bit of something for everyone in the thrift store you just gotta look for it uh, what else can I give you pointers, tips? Um, sit, look through everything, especially like Goodwill and Salvation Army places like that. They don't, I mean, as much as it's all sectioned off, it's not really. So I go through all the jackets, I go through all of the men's blazers, I go through the pants, the jeans, um, and you're just gonna be there all day, just sifting and looking, uh, but it's the best thing ever. Also really cool, uh, the jewelry pieces. So you never know whose grandma's earrings you're gonna find at the thrift store. Uh, you can find used belts. Like I really enjoy the fact that it's used and sometimes the things are worn in. To me, it kind of gives the piece a little bit more personality. Who wore this? Where did it come from? How is it, you know? Those kind of things, I think you appreciate them a little bit more when you are buying vintage or thrifted pieces, because I've done both. I also think it's really cool when people are, you know, they come up to you and they're like, oh my God, where did you get your this or that? It looks amazing. And you're like, I paid seven bucks for it at the thrift store. Um, I feel super proud when I say that, because I'm just like, I've got this for a bargain and I just want to let everyone know about it. You can look so good and so chic and expensive as hell and you paid nothing for it so don't don't looks aren't everything just saying uh so for instance this blazer right it's this like gray blue blazer i saw one on the totem and i don't know if it's totemi or totem but either way I ordered a pair of their block mules, which I'll show you in a second. I've been dying and waiting for them to release. Uh, and it's a brand that I absolutely love and I think they do basics really, really, really well. They just opened up their first store. I think it's in Copenhagen, if I'm not mistaken. Love the brand, not trying to knock it, obsessed. They had a blazer in this same exact shade. It might be a little bit more blue on the blue side. And in the camera, I don't know what color it's coming up, but it's like the stone, it's almost like the color of my wall. Less less blue, more gray. Um, and the blazer is about like 600 bucks. Went thrifting, 
not looking for it, not searching for it. I think I was going for jeans, but I always look at the blazer section before I leave, just because I know new stuff comes in on the daily, and I found this. Ah, oh, and it's stunning. Here, I'll try it on. Well, I'm, you're only going to see the top part of it. I need to get a better lens for, like, body shots. But anyway, here's the blazer. It's oversized. It fits lovely. It's nice and long. I love it. And I paid $7.95 for it. And it looks so good on. So I don't need that blazer. Um, I'm very happy with this one. Okay, so these are the mules. I got them in black. They came in like a croc skin um, finish. It was like a beigey brown. Loved it. But I really think, like, I'm going to wear the crap out of these. And those, I feel like I'm kind of limited to what I can wear with them. Even though, like, beige is a basic color. But either way, I wanted the black. So they look like this. Flats. Definitely um, on the site, it, it suggests to size down. Uh, I did. I got a 39 versus a 40. Normally, you get a 40, an Italian 40. So this is a 39. And I want to, I think someone returned these and they didn't fit um, just because they've been out of stock. But either way, I placed the order because I had been checking or I had, I think, submitted my email to get an alert. Got the alert. And I'm going to get a ton of wear out of these, especially, you know, the upcoming summer months. Like if you invest, like I like to invest in shoes and accessories, um, more so than I would in, you know, t-shirts or, I don't know, like stupid shit. I wouldn't spend $800 on a sweater. I think that's just asinine. I can go to the Gap. I had a sweater on in the Gap when I went to Barcelona and everyone touched it. <laughs> and they were like, it's so soft. Where did you get it? What is it? And I'm like, it's from the Gap, the men's section. They do some really good sweaters. So definitely give them, you know, a, a check them out. I think shoes can make or break an outfit. Investing a little bit more in your shoes. Handbags. I used to love purses and handbags and now I've found that I rather not even walk out of the house with a purse like I don't care if I have one or not um, I have my new one from Burberry I just got another one from a um, a brand in Paris it's stunning I'll show it to you guys in a second hold on let me go grab it okay so this is the bag that was kindly kindly gifted to me I think it's called Leo et Violet, I think. I'm totally butchering that. I don't speak French, I speak Spanish. But either way, it's this gorgeous leather bag. It makes me think of the Celine bags. Um, and it has a strap on it, but it is, it has this like a golden um, clasp opening and it just opens up like that. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. I love it. I think it's such a pretty classic piece. Another favorite of mine are these Burberry shoes. They are chunky and not for everyone. I know they aren't, but there is just something about them. When I went to Barcelona, I saw them on um, Alyssa and Courtney, which uh, I'll link them down below, but a lot of people know who they are. They're awesome, amazing girls but they looked great on them. And I liked the patent leather ones, which are Alyssa in the city. Um, she had these on and I told her, I'm like, you're gonna make me buy them, but they're stunning. I like them. Um, I purchased a thrifted trench, which I'll show you right now. Um, and again, you can't see the whole full effect, which sucks, but give me a second. So I have two trenches here, one that I thrifted and one that was kindly gifted to me by Burberry. Um, I'll try them both on because this one's a little bit more fitted, the Burberry one, and I love it. But the thrifted one I thought with those shoes would look great. And this one's oversized, it's massive, it's huge, but everyone should have a trench. And it's just, oh, I love it. I paid, I think I paid $10 for it. Um, and it's super long. 
and I think it'll look great with anything and something tight underneath, something oversized underneath, uh, jeans and just those patent leather shoes. Great. Um, so this is the thrift one. <laughs> this is, I'm telling you, the most random video, but felt like chatting more than just sitting down and this and that, like I didn't want it to be, I want it to be, we're having a conversation, we're talking, we're hanging out, we're speaking fashion, um, listen to me, <laughs> kind of thing. Anyway, this is the, um, the Burberry one, and I love the color of it, I think it's stunning. This I would wear more, if, like, I guess like with trousers, like a smarter kind of um, outfit. But yes, the check on the collar, I love it. Such a classic piece. So happy uh, that I have it and a huge thank you to Burberry. Also hugely since I chopped all my hair off. Hair journey, real quick, sidetrack. I'm gonna let my hair grow. I'm dying. I cut it all into like a short blunt blob, blob, bob, uh, because I just wanted it to be all one length. It was really, really uneven because I had layers in it. And then I did the whole baby bangs thing, which I keep toying back and forth with the idea of getting bangs, but I know that I'll regret it if I do. So, um, gosh, where was I going with this? Total brain fart. That's what happens when I have like diarrhea in the mouth. Um, gotta let it grow, but for the most part, I've really been into like hair clips, um, scrunchies again. This one's actually recycled silk, but the brand uh, that I get it from, it's a jewelry brand as well. I love her. Um, she is the sweetest thing ever, and I love all of her pieces. So very happy with the scrunchie. And, uh, naked nails, that's another thing. Uh, I think I spoke about it briefly on Instagram and I have typed up the blog posts but I've been trying to take pictures and every time I go I have the time to take the pictures my nails look like shit so I have to sit down and do like do you guys miss blog posts I need to know that because um, I haven't done one in a really long time and I don't know if it's something that do you guys prefer stuff on Instagram or do you guys like an actual blog post to read. Let me know. Naked Nails. So Essie drew a couture nail line, which I think is great, and that's what I've been using on my nails. And I've been skipping the top coat, just because I think the top coat takes away from the, it's kind of like a no makeup makeup look, but for your nails. So having the top coat, I think, just makes it look like you did something to the nail versus it just your nail looking natural and healthy. Um, so I use, I have a flesh tone color, which is called Of Corset, and these are by Essie. So look them up if you want. And that one's more of like a beigey tone. And then what's the pink one called? I think it's called Sheer Fantasy, which is what I actually did my nails today. And I just clean up my cuticles, trim my nails, cause I can't, they can't be long. I can't work with long nails. Um, and that's it. So, because I was doing gel polish and it just, it ruined the health of my nails. I hate doing gel polish because it just makes them look like shit. So this, uh, I've been on the hunt for the perfect leather jacket. I think every girl is. And I think the idea of a leather jacket, like, is, you know, a short cropped moto jacket. Not for me, I wanted one that looked kind of like a blazer and I didn't mind it being oversized and I didn't mind it being a men's blazer. And there's a girl, her, I can't think of her name. I'll put her Instagram handle here. She is stunning, she is beautiful. And I saw a leather jacket on her and I was like, yep, that's the silhouette that I want. It looks stunning on her and that's exactly how I want to wear mine. Um, so John had this in the basement and I fell in love with it. I was like, yep, that's it. And again, it's just big, it's oversized. It makes me happy. <laughs> so I love this. I think it's gonna look really cool with like, um, some cute little pumps. Well, I have these square toed ones from Mango. 
they were last year's earth i don't know kitten heel that's what they're called um which i'm obsessed with and i love and i will continue to wear until they fall apart and i think i'll wear it with this but love it i think it's great again not everyone's cup of tea but it is mine i think you make whatever it is that you want to do you make it your own right I think sunglasses can make or break an outfit or just um, make it a little bit more fun, like a basic outfit. So I have two here from Celine that I've been wearing nonstop. One's a bit newer, these are a bit older, and these, everyone has these, but they are just that like staple item. I think out of everything that I own, if I ever lost these sunglasses, I would be devastated. Like this is like one of my top five in my wardrobe, but. These are the Edge sunglasses. They're really, really hard to come by. I know a couple of brands have made like knockoffs of them and a lot of them look really great. But if you can get your, you know, a hold of them, I would invest. I think they're great. I wear them maybe, I'd say like 90% of the time. But love them. We'll continue to wear them. Good staple piece. These I was after for a little bit, and Alex had a link to these, and I'll link her right here. I love her. And my Teresa, and I think this was like the only pair left, because as soon as I purchased them, they were sold out when I checked on the site again. But these have a pink tint to them, and they have that whole like retro vibe going on to them. I think they're chunky, they're fun. I've even thought about making them my eyeglasses, because uh, I have another pair of Celine. I have a pair of Celine eyeglasses that I use all the time, and those you can't get either. Or at least not anymore. I haven't been able to find them. I'm trying to look on my phone to see if there's anything else I can give you, other than, you know, fashion, beauty, like, just favorites in general. I will say that I had a ton of fun in Barcelona. It was the most wonderful experience. I don't think, like, it was just amazing. Words can't even describe how grateful I am for the opportunities that uh, I get to do because of you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, and I never want to go on these trips and just reach that level of like we can't relate. Do you know what I mean? I don't even know if that makes any sense. I don't know how people get used to trips like that, but it was amazing. It was great and everyone was just so nice. Um, and just walking around the city and experiencing Barcelona and shooting on disposable camera film, it was great. I definitely want to do that more. I'm going to Berlin next month, so that should be great. I'm going to take another disposable camera with me. Uh, this is going to be a long one. Um, in my hand, I have some beauty favorites. And beauty favorites meaning, um, so I'm going to generalize this. So wearing a red lip. I wore a red lip when I went away to Barcelona. Um, I've worn a red lip a couple times just to going around. Like it's not one of those things that you need to wear on occasion. I feel like I can wear a t-shirt, a blazer, some jeans, and a red lip. And again, feel very empowered and just, I love it. Uh, I have three different colors that are a couple of my favorites and a pigment. So. I have uh, NARS Cruella, which is a matte velvet lip pencil, Sephora 01, I think this is a called, hold on, cream lip stain, love that, and then of course Max Ruby Woo lipstick, this one's like a mini travel one, uh, but I've loved wearing a red lip. I watched Violet, um, who is the uh, director, the beauty director for Estee Lauder, I believe, and she did a, vi a video with um, oh my god, is it Thailand? I'm so horrible with names, but she, her skin was completely bare. Greatest skin ever, and she's stunning, this woman. I'll link the video down below if you haven't seen it. She had this red, blurred lip. I don't know, she like softened the edges a bit. I fell in love, so I've been doing it ever since. And to get that velvety texture or effect, I've been layering my lipstick with Max Red, Basic Red Pigment. So I'm not sure, I'm assuming you can get pro products. This used to be like a pro product, you couldn't get it. 
unless you ordered it online, something like that. I don't know if it's available in stores or not, but I just take a Mac to 3.9 and really just, I put a tissue underneath so it doesn't get everywhere because this will not come off. It's a bitch, it gets everywhere. So I just really lightly pack it onto the lip and it just gives this really velvety, pillow-y kind of texture to your red lip. I love it. So I sandwich them. Sometimes if I want a deeper red, I'll take NARS Blue Train and lip pencil and I'll kind of go in the corners just to deepen the, the, the lip even more or just to give it some type of dimension so it doesn't look like a flat red, if that makes any sense. Contouring, there you go. Contour with that dark color. Um, tips from my girl, Katie Jane Hughes, who's awesome. <laughs> Um, what would we do without her? Um, ugh, she's a genius. But anyway, um, she taught me that trick a while ago. So red lips have been a thing of mine. Glossy skin, like always. Uh, I'm playing around with the glitter thing. I'll report back and let you know how I feel. Uh, it's fun. It's different. Uh, it's glitter. And I'm not a glittery person, but I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I will see you in the next one. So, yeah.